welcome, welcome, and welcome to another episode of Body Bag, sir. It is your host, Moonski, here, as we begin to get into this very next match. Last episode, they came in on top, shoutouts to Claude MVP, and now they're getting ready to appear for their next match. Like, comment, and subscribe, and don't touch that dial, as we get ready to head right into our story recap. Alright, welcome back to Story Recap, the one-stop shop for you to keep on a story that nobody gives a fuck about. Once again, Alfred, I don't trust him. He's here. He's in the good graces of the Ashen Wolves, Yuri, Balthus, Constance, Happy, they all trust him. But he has been uh, weaving his little fuck shit into these kids' brains. Now, whether or not they're smart enough to catch on to this... We'll be soon to find out. Alfred has been uh, on to say that uh, he's been looking after these kids. He has been watching over them, doing his best to make sure they have the best environment to grow. But that's crazy because they're underground, living with fucking asbestos and bullshit. But either way, either way, uh, there's legend of a chalice of beginnings. A chalice set to revive anyone from the dead. And Constance has the idea that if she retrieves this chalice of new beginnings that she'll be able to restore her house of nouvelle now of course of course alfred he, he he's against it he doesn't want them doing this and the only reason why alfred would don't want them to do this is because he wants for themselves but you know these young teens you know how they usually do the adults say don't do it they don't do it regardless so guess what we're doing for this match that's right you guessed it chalice of beginnings <laughs> Welcome to home base where we get to see what's happening under the hood with the current team now that we have Ash and Wolves just recently drafted to Violet and his crew we get to see how they interact with each other and how they go ahead and adjust in their team makeup pardon the odd question but something has been bothering me for a while now your hair was it always that color that is an odd question but yes, if you must know, it was a different color when I was a child. How could you know that? Is it possible that we met before the academies? A long story. Now is not the time I this one do? Yes, of course. My apologies. I see the team has made a very interesting purchase for Yuri. They go ahead and cop that Levin Sword. Levin Sword being a very magical centric uh, weaponry for uh, a unit such as Yuri, I think it's going to be very interesting in seeing what he can actually do with it as a trickster, especially with his speed, having that versatility. That should be pretty good uh, going down down the line. And I also see that they've taken the time to give Claude an iron axe. And I should give Claude some options when he's on the battlefield, whether or not he wants to attack afar using his bow or hit a little harder with his axe, depending on the matchup. Also, last match, it appears that their battalion took some pretty heavy beatings, so it looks like the team has invested some of their budget on replenishing their battalions as the battalions are going to be very crucial when it deals with uh, a, a pretty much mobs of enemies on the field. Edelgard expressing that how she wants to have a projectile weapon, and the team has seen that Edelgard has been putting her best foot forward on the team, so it looks like Byleth has awarded Edelgard with a hand axe, not just a hand axe, she's getting a hand axe plus, a hand axe plus that has been forged, it has a little bit better at stats going forward, and I think Edelgard can do some really good things with this hand axe, now this hand axe plus is going to give her uh, some extra might when doing damage on the field, so that's going to be very beneficial right there, every damage is going to count, and as we can see, as the Ashen Wolves join the team, they take the time to just reassemble everybody's kit, refresh and restock and reorganize, which is a very smart thing to do especially for each battle when going in. I like the, how the team's organization is going forward and I like how they're trying to just be mindful of their wares and their weaponries. As long as they're cool about this, I think the team, they shouldn't be over budgeted. All right, looks like they're playing within their means. Uh, I know the conference has been talking about doing some budget cuts throughout the season, but Byleth seems to be very smart about how he is approaching this for this season. Viewers, welcome to another episode of First Strike. Let's get the lowdown on what's happening on this match right here. Now, it looks like for this one, it's going to be retrieve and place for this one. So, the objective is we're going to have to steal this spell break key from this golem right here, Marcel. Now, Marcel, 
is a goal. Most golems, it's gonna take some gambits, some whittling down, and, and some and some demolishing of the life bar. Two life bars, three life bars, in fact. But Marcel's a little tankier than the other golem, so it's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Now, as you can see, there's two fronts. We have two golems on both sides. We have berserkers over here, assassins. We have another golem on the other side. So we're gonna to have to have our team split up in two parts and fend off both sides, and then they'll try to pincer on to this Marcel golem. We're gonna to have to make their way down there. It's going to be quite the journey and quite the trudge as we're going to be having a lot of units funneling towards us as we try to make our way to these uh, keystones at the bottom. So it's gonna be a little rough, but let's see how the team is going to be setting up their constants. No, it looks like Hilda and Ash will switch right here. Okay, okay. Very curious to see how this team is going to set up for this match because it's gonna be all about defending and holding off a strong front of the oncoming enemies. We're having Yuri and Ash switch places. We're looking like Linhart. He's looking to move. He doesn't want to be in the front lines. He's going to switch with. Is he going to switch with? He's going to switch with Constance. Okay. 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 Dimitri's in her back right there. Constance is going to switch with Linhart back. Linhart is trying to find his spot right now. He's going to switch back with Constance right there. Okay. Look at her. They're, they're feeling it out. They're feeling it out. And of course, at this stage in the game, preparation is always key. You don't want to overextend yourself. You want to give yourself the best possible situation. Balance out the teams. A healer on both sides if you can help it. Archers and projectile users. Tanks. Splitting the team like this is definitely risky. Uh, of course, everyone would want their team to be together, fortified, moving as a mass ball of death. But in certain situations, when it comes to the art of combat, sometimes you're not given that luxury. Sometimes you're going to have to fend off two fronts because they're going to try to flank you. You know, we don't know if there's going to be reinforcements. So we're going to have to hold it down. Hold it down. I, I think we're getting the go-ahead from the team. We're getting the go-ahead. I think both teams are giving me the thumbs up. All right, and it looks like it's time to start the match. Right, the golems right here it looks like happy just wants to meet him in the forest for some avoidance as well as doing battle with that golem she's gonna go ahead and hold that positioning right there next we have balthus he's gonna go ahead and rally it looks like he's gonna rally by left all right so it looks like by left will be entering the front lines now it doesn't seem like by left is going to be able to do much damage against that archer unless he gets a sword of the greater he's not opting for it in fact he's going for his steel sword interesting play right here i thought he might have wanted went for the sword of the crater just to retaliate back to that unit but it looks like that's not the case edelgard is also joining him which means they're not really trying to kill but more so draw these enemies and do a little damage now these rogues sitting at 33 speed Ash is going to want to stay clear of any type of that damage. So he's going to back up more sorts toward the right hand side. He might be looking to assist. Dimitri moves up to the side and as well as Linhart rearing out the back. Yuri wants to approach back up as he deals with these warriors. He wants to go for the item. He's going to whip out his Levin sword and look like Ash is going to hold his position. And here comes the enemy's time to return. Enemy's time to return fire. Big damage from Happy. She straight up eats that. As she responds, a 14 damage of her own. I like the way Happy's playing. She's not going too crazy. She's getting these much needed hits off, going for the nice guaranteed hits, breaking that barrier. She's doing what she needs to do. Golem coming right for Constance. Constance eats that seven damage and she responds with 10 of her own, two times 20 damage in total. That should do a good amount of damage and possibly break that barrier. Rogue rolling up against Violet, 36% chance of hitting. Violet with the beautiful dodge right there. Rogue approaches Edelgard. Eats that two. Edelgard responds back. She whiffs on her own. Hits her back with another two. Next, Rogue approaches by left. By left dodges. Hits with 29. First to the Berserkers attacking Yuri. Yuri with the dodge. 16. And another 16. Archer fires up with 11% chance of hitting Yuri. Of course, dodging. He's just too slippery. Yuri is, in fact, on ice. Mm. Now, both of these teams are going to have to play very carefully. They don't want to overextend or do anything too crazy that might leave them exposed for possible other attacks. All right, Hilda wants to go for a hit. She goes for that 30, taking care of that warrior right there. Constance coming from behind. She wants to destroy that barrier. She's going to destroy it. First strike. Golem responds back with another seven of their own. As Constance goes for her last remaining 10. Which should break that barrier. Barrier destroyed. All right, Claude approaches with the iron axe want to do damage to this archer one slash next slash taking them out all right ash is gonna go ash with a crit 
not expected, but guess what? At this point, you just come to expect the crits from Ash. 5%, just where exactly is he pulling these crits out of his ass? He just, he just does it every time. Let's hit a level up from Ash. Dexterity and speed. Now, is if this isn't a unexpected turn. Now, it wasn't really an abundance of level ups, but the, the, the elements that he got leveled up were pretty good. I will say, I don't think that's an absolute loss. He might be disappointed in himself, but I think he was doing pretty good for himself. All right, looks like Yuri wants to attack and get rid of that extra health bar. All right, Balthus going for his Ancient Relic. He goes for a punch, 22, and another 22, taking care of that Phantom Soldier. Great use of his fist to go ahead and attack him first, knock him out as quickly as possible, getting that money, bringing home that cash, bring home that bacon. Byleth rolling up on the archer. He does not want to deal with this archer. He does not want the archer on the field, so Byleth is going to go ahead and take care of that archer as quickly as possible. And a level up from Byleth. You love to see it. HP, speed, luck, and charisma. Dimitri from behind. He wants to get rid of this rogue. He's going to go for a lance. What is he going for? Iron lance. Iron lance it is. Great. Love it. Great fundamentals. I just love Dimitri's field awareness. Just to see that on the field. Go for it. Take the initiative. That's the type of shit I like to see. All right. Steel Axe from Edelgard. Beautiful 18 damage. Whittling down that golem down. Breaking that barrier outright. As Lidhart comes from behind and fires off two shots of fireballs. And a level up from Lidhart. HP, magic, and luck. Happy keeping it cool. She goes from right behind Lidhart and fires off her Misima. Have you noticed I've been saying this spell differently every time? It's because I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. But a level up is imminent for Happy. Barrier broken down to its second health bar. And Happy Linhart seems to be staying themselves in the forest, not wanting to deal with any of that damage. Now, it looks like Dimitri will also find himself in way in this annihilation. Now, their evasion is up in the forest, but it's not a guaranteed hit, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, it looks like all three of them have taken damage. The barrier is indeed back up. The Golans wants to attack Constance and Claude. Here comes the Annihilation. Constance should be able to eat this up. Claude might be in a little bit of trouble, but we'll see. 27 damage on Claude. All right, Happy going for the death. 15 damage. Golem responds back. 13 damage on Happy. Now, while Happy is indeed looking not the best right now, she can be able to recover from this if she moves along. Happy retreats back. Linhard wants to help her out. He's going to go ahead and he's going for an assist. Heal. He wants to heal back up Happy. Happy getting her health right back up there. Edelgard from behind with the steel axe. She wants to just shatter this barrier. Good shattering. And here comes Dimitri with 26 damage on his own. Bringing him down to the final health bar. All right, Ash attacking from a safe distance. Wants to shatter that barrier. Doesn't really want much retaliation. I like this play from Ash. Going from a safe distance. Just whittling and chipping off that damage little by little. Now these golems are pretty tanky. It's going to take a full team effort just to take down one. Both Claude and Constance aren't doing the best, but it looks like Claude is going to pop his concoction. He wants his health right back up there. All right, looks like Hilda's going to go for a quite the gamble. It's a 53% chance of this hitting. It hits Hilda. Not looking good, but responds once again. Barrier indeed is broken. As Constance goes and tries to whittle down even more barriers. With a bolting. It looks like Byleth's going to wait right here just to draw the enemy fire. Enemies are spawning onto the field. The golem attacks Happy. Happy responds with some death. Here it is. 15 damage straight up. And the barrier is broken. Good dodge from Claude. Mage approaches by left. 
Hits with the Banshee, 25 on by left. Here comes Edelgard with the Steel Axe. 18 damage outright, that should shatter that barrier right there. Breaks the barrier. And Mithril is obtained. All right, Happy attempting to attack the Phantom Soldier from afar with the Misma. Happy falls back ever so slightly, leaving Balthus able to run up on the Warrior and do some solid damage and take him out. Great play, great assist, great setup, and great execution on both sides. Money, send that back. Balthus is bringing in that cash. All right, Dimitri going for the Phantom Soldier. Now he will get hit with that Banshee and be hit with 16 damage, but he responds back. By left with the Sword of the Creator, he wants to finish off this Golem. And a crit is coming through from by left. One slash, he's done. Here comes Ash once again, trying his best to whittle down this Golem down to his final bar. Now he has 20% chance of crit. Now we know Ash and how he do, but it looks like he's gonna go for a nice little 32 damage, whittle down to 43. This should be good enough for other teammates to come through and try to finish off what is left off. All right, Hilda stepping up onto the front lines. 27, here's a chance. Hilda get hit with 25 damage, but she responds back, killing off this Golem and pushing on forward. And a level up from Hilda, the Pink Demon is back. HP, Strength, Speed, Defense. I'm liking this level up from Hilda. Now, Hilda's not looking the best right now, but it looks like Yuri wants to come through and heal up a little bit. The enemy turn. Golems are spawning onto the map. They're gonna have to move a little quickly. Pressure on Balthus. Balthus is not phased at all. Paladins roll up on Claude. Claude gets hit, but he eats it. Responds with 23, 46, Phantom down. Claude is still hungry. Next Paladin approaches Claude. Gets hit with another 15, 23, 46. Next Phantom down again. Claude is just piling him down. Now he has taken considerable amount of damage with the HP, speed, and defense of Charisma. Might make it all work, and in the end, if you get some heals from Yuri, this should be all good. A vulnerable in the backpack. Send that shit back to the convoy. Golems are approaching. Now they're gonna have to start pushing up a little bit more as they wanna start drawing out Marcel. Fires off Javelin at the Phantom Soldier. Can he hit this? 65% chance, he dodges. All right, here comes Balthus. Punch to the gut, punch to the face. Man down. And a level up from Balthus. Now, Balthus is a war monk, so he's going to have some special magical properties that we have yet to see from him, all right? So he definitely has heals, which we have come to find out, but he also has this ability called uh, Nimona Gale, which is a magical-based attack that he used with his gauntlets, being of the war monk class. So hopefully we can see to see that on the field. Let's see what he got in store. Happy taking her time. She's gonna go ahead and go for an item. She wants to heal up some of that damage. All right, enemy phase. Paladin rolls over to Claude. Claude gets hit, he eats it. Swings back, swings again. Soldier down. Here comes Happy with a Gambit. Gambit coming through. Now she's not gonna do any damage, but it's just gonna be solely for shattering some of that defense. They want the barrier shattered just to stall Marcel so the team has enough time to take him out in due time. Good damage, enemy is stunned. And this allows Claw to come from behind with the steel bow and do a nice little five damage. Great play from Yuri. Now, Yuri has an ability called Foul Play, which allows him to swap places with enemies within his range. That's gonna be a good way for Yuri to kind of swap around, break enemies' ankles, and find some better positioning. It looks like Byla's gonna go for the Sword of the Creator. He wants to do some damage to Marcel in that opening. Here comes the opening from by left. Crest of Flames, 10 damage. And another 10 damage. Here comes Balthus, wants to shatter what's left of that barrier. Going for the Gambit right here. It's a quadruple Gambit!
Solid damage. All right, looks like Dimitri will hold on to his gambit, and instead he just wants to shatter that armor. 6 damage, another 6, armor fully broken, here comes Edelgard with the monster breaker, good damage from Edelgard, killing edge, can Bylev get some crits off, first crit off, can he get another crit, responds from Marcel, 35 damage on Marcel, and he whiffs, with the Banshee, she just, and she gets the crit! Liking what I'm seeing, loving what I'm seeing. Happy is really putting on a clinic right now. Destroying that, all right, this is the final health bar. Ash approaches Eve and a crit. Now it's risky for Ash to be this close, but to get a crit like this, I'm telling you, everywhere is a forest fire with Ash around because it's just soot flying everywhere. It's just gray. It's just bodies dropping, arrows dropping, people dropping, cash dropping. Look at that shot. And another bringing down a 66 HP. Here's Hilda, very risky play from Hilda with a miss. Hilda can't be happy about that miss, but she makes up for with a crit! Great turnaround from Hilda. She loses her battalion. Hair approaches Constance with the fireball. Be able to take out Marcel. Here it is. And a spell break key. Here he advances items, whipping out his Levin Sword. Balthus approaches for a heal. He wants to heal up Ash. Lidhart goes through as well, trying to heal up by left. Here comes Dimitri meeting on one of the golems approaching him. Let's see how things go. The team has seen how somehow split up, but yet merged back together and regrouped. Dimitri eating that hit, responds back with a javelin strike of his own. All right, here comes Yuri. Dodge that attack, hits with a 17, another 17. Great dodge. Look at the footsies. I love his 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 dexterity, his his spatial awareness. This is a, this is exactly what you want to see from a top five player in the league. A very weak Hilda approaching hits with a mace. Constance finds herself in the bushes. Now it looks like while Constance has his key, she can make her way down over here towards this first pillar. Now there is an archer and a couple of warriors. So what it's going to need to be happening, she's gonna need an escort team to help her down there, clear out those enemies as they continue to push through. There's gonna be a couple of golems as well. All right, happy going right for that barrier right there. Eats it. Levin sword strike from Yuri. Gets rid of the Phantom Soldier with another one. Great use of the Levin Sword right now. That might have been one of the best additions for Yuri on the field. Here comes Dimitri. Good poke. And another poke. And a level up from Dimitri being level 26 right now. Looking for some good level up. HP, speed, luck, defense, and charisma. Great level up. I'm loving that defense. I'm loving that. If we get some more dexterity from Dimitri, that will be even better. Here comes Edelgard. Hand axe. Eats up that 15 damage. All right. By the Sword of the Crater attempting to attack this golem from behind. Shattering that barrier. A very bold Linhart with the fireball. Double fireball now does that break the barrier. Ball with the assist trying to heal up it. Vulnerary from Ash. Enemy phase. Annihilation. This should be a huge battle right here. All right, here comes the Golem on Constance. Eats that six. Responds with 10. Another 10. Golem attacking Dimitri. Dimitri eats it. Here comes Ash. Another fire. 
Dimitri going for a quad gambit boost. With three HP, it's a bit of a gamble indeed, but he needs damage on the board. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to go ahead and end right here, but don't worry. We'll be right back with some more Fire Emblem Body Bag Center coverage for you guys to consume. So we'll see you guys next time.